Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna help you upgrade your vocabulary. Have you noticed how certain words sound a little, what's the word I'm looking for? Boring, like words like good, bad, happy, sad. Don't get me wrong, they are good words and perfectly reasonable to use, but we wanna spice it up a little bit and that's what we're gonna do today. Are you ready to boost your vocabulary? Keep watching. Everything's in English. All you need to know. All right, how did you learn to speak English? Let's start with the most common pair of English adjectives, good and bad. Now, instead of good, you can say excellent. So simple but sounds way better. Instead of good, just say excellent, which means extremely good, very good, right? Or you can say amazing. Amazing is an amazing word. And amazing also means very good, impressive, uh, surprisingly good. How was your dinner? It was amazing, thanks for asking. Or the last one, instead of saying good, you can say awesome when you admire something awesome. Um, the definition of awesome is just something extremely good. This is awesome! Now, to describe something very good or enjoyable, you can also use the word terrific. Very popular in uh, spoken English, very common. I just got some terrific news, for example. Terrific news. That's terrific news. Now, do not confuse it with the word terrible, which means bad. Terrific means good. Oh yeah, when you're talking about something very, very good, maybe it's even rare. You know, maybe it's of um, higher quality than everything else. Above average, right? It's that good. You can use the word exceptional. He has an exceptional talent or this restaurant is exceptional, which means one of a kind. And you can use this word for anything as long as you feel that way. Well, I just have exceptional taste is all. Mm -hmm. And of course, we all know my favorite show of all time, How I Met Your Mother. Uh, Barney Stinson, his favorite word is legendary. It's gonna be legendary. Legendary does not just mean good or very good. Legendary is way above that. Legendary means memorable, remarkable. It's a very strong word, so use it wisely. Uh, speaking of legendary things, have you heard of my online course, Speak English Like a Pro? It's not really a course, I call it an, an online, a, an educational experience even. This crazy online experience I've created for you guys combines, you know, lectures and lessons to learn stuff, as well as fun challenges and tasks to put it all into practice. You'll work in pairs to get all of your skills to the next level in just three weeks. Click the link in the description box to learn more and sign up for our challenge. We're starting soon. Now to the opposite of good, which would be bad. Something not enjoyable, but also not too bad could be described with the word unpleasant. Unpleasant. It's doable. I can do it, but I'm not really enjoying it. It's quite unpleasant. And you can use it for things and situations and for people. My neighbor is a very unpleasant person. You can say that if it's true. A feeling of something could be unpleasant. Getting a flu shot is unpleasant. Something like that. Okay, mother. It's time for an unpleasant confrontation. The next word is poor. And you may say, Venya, but poor means I have no money. Also poor could mean something that is not very well made, something of low quality. Now sometimes your social skills are very poor. <laughs> and to describe something extremely bad, like really, really bad, we can use words like awful, should be familiar to you guys, or dreadful. Dreadful is more like um, something I definitely don't wanna do. Something, something I have to do, but I don't want to do. I see it got a few dreadful reviews on Yelp. Now, if someone is very unkind and, um, you know, not showing you any kind of respect, 
calling you names, bullying you, and saying just rude things to you, you can call them mean. You guys are always so mean to me! <laughs> Another common synonym for bad is nasty. Now, nasty is just gross, disgusting, uh, dirty, um, you know, just very, very bad. We could be talking about the weather, like, let's say I hate rain. Um, I don't hate rain. I, I don't like rain, that's for sure. So I could say, ugh, the weather is nasty, right? Um, it could be a person, a nasty person. Uh, it could be a feeling or a situation. You know, someone said something very inappropriate. You could say, oh, that was nasty. Oh, nasty. Let's move on to another commonly used pair, and it's happy and sad. Try using the word pleased to talk about your satisfaction. So instead of happy, you can say pleased. No, I'm really pleased for you. As well as, uh, you know, a formal way of saying that, delighted. Or another great word to use instead of happy is cheerful. Smile, look cheerful, here we go. Or if you're extremely happy and excited, you can use the word ecstatic. When Ben told me that you had won the bid, I was wildly ecstatic. Or when you hear some incredible news or something and it makes you very, very happy, you can say thrilled. That's wonderful, I'm thrilled. And of course, instead of saying I'm happy, you can use the idiom, I'm on cloud nine. I'm on cloud nine. We're, We're on, on cloud, cloud nine. nine. Now let's move on to sad. The first word is miserable. Miserable means the same thing as sad. Miserable, uh, you can talk about, you know, your state of mind or people when they are unhappy, um, things are just going wrong and it affects, you know, how they feel. You can say, oh, I am miserable. I am miserable. The word frustrated could be used uh, in situations when you are just uh, annoyed or discouraged. Uh, a lot of bad things are happening and you just don't seem to, you know, see the end of it. Sorry, I'm just frustrated. Now, when we're talking about an extreme state of sadness, uh, you can use words like devastated or distraught. Now, those are very, very strong. Very, very strong. And because of their strength, they are commonly used in, um, you know, tragic situations. I was devastated. Now, another very serious word is depressed. Now, depressed means very, very sad, and it, the word is linked to a common um, mental disorder, which is real, and it's serious. So the word depressed is, is, it has gotten a little more um, serious, I guess. Definitely not a word you wanna throw around like it's no big deal. I bet this video was interesting. Now, we can't forget the word interesting. So the first word is fascinating. Fascinating. Or, okay, 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 this one is really good. Captivating. Captivating, that's such a beautiful word, man. It works when, when something is so good, you can't stop looking at it or reading it or watching it or something is just captivating. You can't, you can't turn away, you can't look away, you just can't stop, it's captivating. How do we do that? With one perfect, captivating image. When you wanna say that something is interesting because it makes you think about stuff, like deeper stuff, right? You can say it's thought provoking. It provokes thoughts. How thought provoking? Now, of course you can say inspiring when you know something that you have seen or heard or read, whatever inspires you, you can say it's inspiring or moving. When, when it made you emotional, let's say it's moving. Or when it's just fun and funny and great and you had a great time, you can say it was entertaining. Now, when speaking about beauty, you don't wanna to refer to everything as beautiful. I mean, everyone and everything is beautiful, of course, but you know, there's layers to it. So you can use words like pretty, talking uh, about, you know, someone's appearance as being pleasant to look at for you. Or you could use the word lovely to talk about, you know, 
more of a person's qualities, like, oh, he's a lovely person, like, he's a nice person inside. She's lovely, what's not to like? Talking about appearances, you can say attractive. Attractive, the word attractive is uh, more neutral in the way that it still means a good thing, but it's it's not as, um, it doesn't have that emotional, emotionally invested tone. Like when you say, oh, she is beautiful, you're excited. Now, when you say attractive, it's like, it's, it's, it's neutral, it's very cold. Like, oh yeah, she's attractive. You're always very attractive. Or you can say good looking. That's very simple and formal, you know, uh, it could be formal too. It's, it's a very neutral word too. Good looking. Now, this is one of my favorite words and it's gorgeous. Gorgeous means very beautiful, gorgeous. Or you could say stunning, same thing, stunning, very beautiful. Beautiful is more of a feminine term. Uh, for men, you would say handsome. He is a handsome man or he is handsome. Uh, you know, you could say, oh, he is a beautiful man. You know, that that's, I think that's fine when you're talking about, you know, him as a person, like inside, he is a beautiful person. He's a beautiful soul. He's a beautiful man. But when you're talking about appearances, you know, attractive is good. Good looking is good. Stunning is awesome. Gorgeous is good. But instead of beautiful, it's better to say handsome. Hey, handsome. When describing important things, it's better to say, um, for example, vital. Or, or you can say essential. I like that one. Essential. Or wait for it. Critical. Oof, that one is beautiful. Critical. If something or someone is very, very important, you can say that they are valuable. Valuable. Irreplaceable. Like you can't replace them with any, anyone or anything else. Or significant. And the last word for the day will be tasty. Uh, tasty, I, I, I have beef with this word. I don't know, I just don't really like it. It sounds silly, very, I almost said stupid. Uh, I'm not, I don't wanna be negative. I just don't like, I, I, you can never catch me using this word. Tasty, it's so tasty. I say delicious. If I wanna say, I say, well, I would say it's it's good, it's really good, or it's incredible, it's amazing. That's if I'm eating something and it, you know, it makes me feel that way. But delicious, I could say delicious. Dinner was delicious. <laughs> Exquisite, that's a very clean, formal word. Exquisite. Or if something looks like it's delicious, you haven't tried it yet, but it looks good, you can say it looks appetizing. Like it looks appetizing, it looks like Something I want to eat. It looks good. Frosted martini glass would make that a lot more appetizing. Or if it looks very, very delicious, you can say it's mouth-watering. It just looks incredible. Let me eat it right now. All right, that's it. Hopefully you've learned some new words and you're ready to use them right now. Comment down below if you knew some of them. Um, if not, you know, let me know. I. I would love reading all this stuff and, you know, providing value and finding new ways to serve you guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. Do not miss any of the stuff. And if you've missed some stuff, here are some of our previous videos. Happy New Year. Let's get it.